Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to load a BIOS into RetroArch on PC and on Android. Let's get started. So if you've ever booted up RetroArch and tried to play, for example, a PS1 game and are greeted with this screen here, hopefully this video will help you out. This solution is almost identical for PC and Android, and I'm going to assume Mac too. I don't own a Mac, so unfortunately I can't say whether or not it will work, but it should be pretty much the exact same process. Now, what's happening here? This is the error screen that many people will encounter. This is because RetroArch cannot find the BIOS or BIOS, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Uh, it cannot find the BIOS file for the PlayStation. So if you boot up a game, this is what you get instead of the actual game playing. But fortunately, this error message is very, very helpful. It says firmware is missing scph5501.bin. That's the exact BIOS file that this emulator is looking for. So that's awesome. It's telling me exactly what I need. Now, depending on the game you're playing, depending on the region, this message may change. So right now I'm trying to play a USA region game, and this is the message that I'm getting. And to clarify things even further, I'm using the Beetle PSX core. So PSX Beetle, that's also known as Mednafin. So that's the one I'm using right now, and this is the exact error. And if you're wondering what a BIOS file is, uh, this website here, it's a wiki page, and it has a lot of information regarding BIOS files for different systems. So I'm just dealing with PlayStation, for example, in this video, but there is information here about other systems as well. All right, so I have my BIOS file up and ready to go. You can see here scph5501.bin. This was the exact BIOS file, if you remember correctly, that RetroArch was asking for when I was trying to play Street Fighter Alpha 3 USA version. So it's asking for this file. I have it ready to go. Where to put it? It's very simple. All you have to do is open your RetroArch directory. So wherever you installed RetroArch, open that folder up, go into System. Once you're in here, it's a simple drag and drop. So let me bring that back up. So I will drag this and drop it in. That's it. So now the emulator will automatically pick up my BIOS file and let me load the game. So I have RetroArch up and running now. I'll head over. You can see Street Fighter Alpha 3 USA. The core I'm using is the PS1 Beetle PSX core. Uh, so I'll select this and the game should start. And now you can see my game is up and running with no issue. And that's literally all it took was just that BIOS file inside the system folder in your RetroArch directory. That's all it was looking for. So I never got to this point before and now I did. And that's literally the only step. And you can repeat this on Android and I'm going to assume Mac as well. On Android, it's pretty much the exact same process. So this is my phone right now. It's plugged into the PC, Galaxy Note 9, you can see. And I'm on the RetroArch storage within my phone. So I'm just going to go into system here and drag and drop the BIOS as well. There's the drag and drop. And that's pretty much it. Now, when I go to load the game, it should work. And just to double check, yes, the game is running on Android on RetroArch. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward and almost the exact same setup between PC and Android. If you're still having trouble on Android and it's not working, all you have to do is just go into your settings folder right here, scroll down to the very, very bottom where it says directory, click on that, and it should be the very, very top option, system slash BIOS. So just make sure you specify exactly where you put that BIOS file. If it's not in the RetroArch and somewhere else, just make sure you specify where you put the BIOS. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.